Amen. Amen. So, why we are Baptists? And um, I started this church, uh, we started this church eight years now, but I've been teaching partially about doctrine, but we will do the whole thing this time. Amen? So Romans chapter 6 and verse 17, it says, But God be thanked that ye were the servants of what? Sin. Sin. But ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Brother Brian, can you stand and ask God blessing on his word tonight? Amen. Thank you, Brother Brian. So, uh, why we are Baptists? Uh, because of the doctrine that we hold to. Amen? So, Romans chapter 6 and verse 17 say, But God be thanked that you were the servants of sin, but you have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Amen? The salvation doctrine. Amen? Then Romans 16, 17 and this is just an introduction for Romans 16 17 say now I beseech you or I beg you brethren mark them which cause what divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned amen and avoid them so if there are folks with false doctrine we need to mark them the Bible say and avoid them is not so amen isn't that God's word? Amen. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 14. Ephesians 4:14. 4, the Bible says that we henceforth be no more what? Children tossed on fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Amen. There are many today leaders and, and so forth that call themselves Christians. They are ready to deceive. Do you believe that is happening in the realm of relig religious group? Yes, it is happening. Satan is using people in the religious realm to deceive others. Amen, church? Amen. That is why this teaching on the the Baptist article of faith is very important. First Timothy 4 6. First Timothy 4 6 say, If thou put the, the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the word of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto, whereunto thou hast attained. So boy, God said, you know, sometimes we got to remind the brethren of the correct doctrine and so forth. Amen. 1 Timothy 4, 16. The Bible say, take heed unto thyself and unto the what? The doctrine. The word doctrine means teaching. Are you listening tonight? And there is right teachings that lead us to eternal life, that lead us to a blessed life. Are you listening tonight? And there is a wrong teaching that do not lead people to eternal, eternal life and do not lead people to a blessed life. Amen, church? Yes. 1 Timothy 4, 16 said, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Amen? Let's go to 1 Timothy 6. Chapter uh, First Timothy chapter six verse three through five, Amen. Amen. First Timothy chapter six verse three through five. The Bible says, "If any man teach otherwise, if any man if any man teach otherwise and consent not the wholesome." words 
even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which is according to godliness he is what he is proud knowing nothing but doctrine about questions and strives of words whereof cometh envy strives wailing uh, evil sir missing and so forth perverse disputing of men of corrupt corrupt minds and destitute of the truth supposing that gain is godliness but such withdraw thyself so the word of god say we should withdraw ourselves from those that teach false doctrine for maybe personal gain maybe to become famous i listen tonight there are people you know in this world that teach false doctrine just to be cake become famous they want to look uh to the world like they know something amen but boy if they don't teach uh, the words of Jesus Christ the doctrine of Christ the bible say that we should redraw ourselves it's not so the bible say that we should redraw the bible say that we should avoid them it's not so the bible say that we should separate from them second timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 And that's why we as Baptists only hold on to the King James Bible or the King James the KJV Bible. Amen. Not the new KJV, uh, not the new King James, not any other version but the old King James Bible. Amen. 2 Timothy 3:16 the Bible say all scripture. How much? All. All, all scripture is given by inspiration of who? Come on, let me hear you. By who? God. By God, and it's profitable. Notice, it is not unprofitable. It is profitable. Boy, the the other version is unprofitable. Amen? Amen. But all Scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Amen. Second Timothy chapter four, verse two. and three The Bible tell us what to do with the word of God. Amen. The Bible said preach your word be instant in season out of season repute reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and with doctrine for the time will come Notice this phrase for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after the own loss shall they heap to themselves teachers have in what it's in ears you know what this mean that people will go to churches where they feel comfortable people will go to churches and they will respect the preachers that preach a word that does not offend or does not uh, correct them i listen let me not say offend amen but correct them But the Bible say that uh, we should preach the word be instant in season and out of season what we should do reprove rebuke and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine people like when you be long suffering to them they like when you can exhort them but they don't want to be reproved they don't want to be re- rebuke amen and the Bible say that uh, they will be in verse 3 for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lust so people actually will lust in the last days after false doctrine i will meet tonight church and the, the bible say for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves what teachers or preachers amen they will go to that church brother brian where they want to hear things uh that appeal to their emotion can i hear amen tonight amen. they they want to hear words that appeal to their emotion like you know hey i prophesy over you you will become wealthy i prophesy over you you will become famous all that amen uh, if it's not from the lord is garbage i listen it appeal to the emotion so The Bible say the time will come. And guess what? That time is already here, church. Are listening tonight? 
The time is already here. Amen. We should go to a church where we feel bad when we don't live for God through the preaching of God's word. Our listening tonight. Titus. After Timothy, you get Titus. Titus 1 and verse 9. The Bible says, Holding fast the faithful what? word as he had been taught. All right? That he may be able by some doctrine or some teaching both to exhort and co to convince the gainsayers. Amen? So boy, we need to hold strong. The word fast there that we, we should hold strong. Amen? Uh, we should hold strong uh, or hold fast the faithful word. What is the faithful word of King James Bible? Titus chapter 2 verse 1. The Bible say, But speak thou the things which become what? Some, some doctrine. Amen. I mean solid doctrine, good doctrine from the or good teachings from the word of God. Amen. People use the Bible today. And some people misinterpret the Bible. Some teachers, preachers misinterpret the Bible to suit their congregation, to make the congregation feel nice and go back home. Amen. But boy, one of these days, uh, God, will hope, God will hold them accountable. The Bible said that God will take out their part from eternal life that, you know, that take out uh, from the word of God and so forth. Verse 7 of Titus 2 chapter, Titus chapter 2 verse 7 say, In all things, how many things? In all things showing thyself a pattern of good works. So we as Christians ought to show ourselves, be a pattern of good works. Amen, church. You know, my wife, she, she can sew a little bit. And sometimes she will look up on the internet for different patterns. And she'll follow those patterns to, to sew whatever she want to sew. Amen? As she, she uh, practice and so forth. And the Bible says we as Christian. Uh, the Bible says here we as Christian in uh, verse 7. In all things. How many things? Showing thyself a pattern of good works. In what? In doctrine. Showing uncorruptness, gravity. Gravity means that we, 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 we well grounded, amen? And sincerity. You know, if somebody was to come and ask you why you are a Baptist, do you have the answer to tell them? Well, from now on you will get an answer, amen? Because a Baptist hold on to strong doctrine. Are you listening tonight? We do not corrupt ourselves with every wind of doctrine. We do not accept every wind of doctrine in the church, in our life, in, in practice, and so forth. Amen? So the Bible goes on to say in verse 10, Not prolonging, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. So our life should be mold and shape. Say mold and shape. Mold and shape. We should be mold and shape into some doctrine. Amen. Second John chapter one and verse ten. Second John chapter one and verse ten. The Bible say, "If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine." Receive him not into your house, neither bid him what? God's speed. Amen. Boy, if somebody have false doctrine, you know, God said we should not allow them in our house. We should not bless them. We should not help them. I listen tonight because that is God's word. It's not so. You say, well, that is hard. Well, boy. Think about Satan get kicked out from heaven because of false doctrine. Amen? Amen. Now we move on to our lesson. For the next couple of minutes, we'll see number one, the infallible and plenary 
verbal inspiration of the scripture. Amen. The infallible and plenary verbal inspiration of the scripture or the accurate, amen, and complete verbal inspiration of the scripture. The definition of infallible is not fallible, not capable of erring. Amen. God's word do not have any mistake. Our listening tonight. Entirely exempt from liability to mistake. To be infallible is the right of God only. Amen. May I say the Bible says, let God be true and every man be a what? A liar. Amen. That is what the Bible says. Plenary mean uh, full or enti entire or complete. So God's word is complete. There is no missing book from the Bible. Can I hear amen? amen? There is no missing chapters. There is no missing verses. Boy, you can go to the Jehovah Witness Bible. There are missing verses. I understand. They take out what they want to take out. Amen? They don't even believe in a literal hell and all and so forth. One of these days, God is going to God is going to hold them accountable for that. Amen. Inspiration mean that uh, <clears throat> inspiration mean that an infusion of ideas into the mind by the Holy Spirit mean the transforming into the minds of men ideas, notices. Amen or warnings by extraordinary and supernatural influence or the communicating of divine will to the understanding by suggestions or impressions on the mind which leave no room to doubt the reality of their supernatural origin. So inspiration means that God breathed. Amen? God inspired men, holy men that set themselves aside to see God, God inspired them to write, to pen his word. Can I hear amen tonight? Amen. So you said man, some people say men wrote the Bible. God used men and there are parts where God wrote himself. Amen church? You know, but the word of God is inspired. God inspired his man to write uh, the Bible and boy the Bible is without error. The Bible is without mistake. I'm talking about the KJV Bible. Amen. It's without mistake, without error. Scientists cannot prove that the Bible is wrong. Can I hear amen? amen. Well, in fact, many of the scientific things are factual. They are, they, they've been in the Bible years before. Scientists surface with factual things today. Amen. amen. And uh, the Bible give living proof. Amen make things come alive and so forth the holy bible consists of 66 books and boy every christian should try their best to memorize the 66 books they should know the name try to know the, the books amen by name all 66 from genesis to revelation uh, the old testament uh have 29 books and the new testament have 27 books amen church the authorship of the Bible is the Holy Spirit. As inspired means God breathed. God breathed. Amen. True chosen holy men of all. This divine inspiration guarantees infallibility or absolute truth in the canon of Scripture. The Bible is the divine revelation of God to man. Boy, there is no other book like the Bible. I right, listen. I want to tell you this tonight. You can go to school. You can take all your studies to become what you want to become. Nothing wrong with that. Amen. If that is God's will for your life. Can I hear amen? amen. But, you know, when the devil uh, came to Jesus Christ and tempted him, what Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word of God. Can I hear amen? amen? By every word of God. Let me tell you. 
We only can survive really by the word of God. We must grab hold on the word of God. We must live by the word of God. The word of God should take first place in our life. Amen, church, in our heart. Matthew 6, 43 say, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, not last, or not second, or third, but seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. It's amazing that sometimes some uh, Christians, they seek everything else. They want to become everything else that the world taught them in their studies. But they left the, the word of God for uh, spare time and so forth. But we must make effort, you know, very often as possible. Amen. Uh, every day or several uh, uh, times to the day. And dig into God's word and read a little bit here and read a little bit there. And try to read out the whole Bible. And, and let the word of God furnish our life. Father, listen. Let the word of God furnish our life so we can flourish in the things of God. Isn't that a wonderful thought? Amen. 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 So, uh, the word of God can remain that inspiration refers to all the words of the scriptures are given by God. And verbal inspiration refers to the, the very words that are given uh, as given directly by God. Since the Holy Bible is therefore inspired by God as the complete Word of God, it is the sole and final authority in matters of Christian doctrines and practice. So, boy, the Bible should be the final authority of our life, amen, in faith and in practice. Think about the Psalms, the Psalms will make your spirit sweet. The Proverbs will make you wise. Amen. Are you listening? You need to read the Proverbs. What about the Acts of the Apostle? It will help you to, to evangelize, help you to win people to the Lord. Amen. What about the life of Christ? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those four books are called the life of Christ. And those four books are penned by four of the Apostles. You know, it's like a journal. Whatever they saw in their own view as God inspired them, they wrote. I listen. And they might be a little different. I listen different, but none of them are wrong. I listen tonight is the way God wanted. Amen. For us to understand His plan and so on. But they are called the life of Christ, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And that will help us to, to be more like Jesus Christ. Amen. And then you have, uh, after Acts, you have Romans and 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and, and on and on. Those are called epistles or letters um, from Paul and so on. And that will help us to grow in the things of God. Are listening? Revelation tells us about the past, present, and future. Amen. But boy, the, 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 the word of God is without mistake, amen? And we should, we should uh, read it and uh, to have a foreignish uh, Christian life and doctrine and to have a life that flourishes and so on so we wouldn't go about or uh, follow every wind uh, of, of doctrine but some doctrine, amen? Goes on to say here, uh, it is not to be... Uh, so the Bible is the sole and final authority in matters of Christian doctrine and uh, practice. It is not to be, it is not to be authority in matters of, sorry, it is not to be supersede by any other so-called extra-biblical uh, revelation or denominational decision. And if this superseding is attempted, it can only lead to error. So, uh, whatever decision uh, the church make, it should not uh, be out of uh, the will of God and out of the Bible. It should not be a man-made fabrication. I listen tonight. It should not be a denominational thing. Amen. The, Okay, people just grab hold of denomination and not to the word of God. There are many churches, you know, they put aside this structure 
uh, their ministry after uh, the denominational order, but not with the order of God's word. I listen like some churches, you know, they have uh, a board in the church, and the board decide what the pastor will preach, and he have to follow the pattern. That is wrong. Amen. The pastor take divine uh, leadership from the Lord Jesus Christ to lead the church. Are you listening? And that divine uh, leadership will be in line with God's word because God's word is the final authority. It's not so church. Amen. Not only has the word of God been inspired in its original form and language, but it has also been divinely preserved down through time by God. We believe that the English translation commonly referred to as the King James Bible is the very word of God divinely pres preserved for us today. Amen? And, um, and so forth. You can find a lot of mistake in other versions or let me put it that way, but you cannot find a mistake in the KJV Bible. Amen, church? Amen. Amen. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 in our Bible. Joshua was a great man of God. But Joshua was one that he was mentored by Moses. Y'all remember that? Amen, church? He was mentored by, by Moses. The Bible says here in Joshua 1 8, This book of the law shall not what? Depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate there and day and night. How often? That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt uh, make thy way prosperous, and then uh, thou shalt have good what? Success. You know, it didn't say you will have good success in your CXC if you pass. Now, nothing wrong with that. Amen? It didn't say you will make good success if you work hard and acquire all these things. Amen? Nothing wrong with that. But first of all, we must meditate in God's word uh, day and night. Amen? Mean that we should have uh, some kind of retainance of God's word. Amen? Where God's word can apply to our heart and life. We read it, we meditate in it, and then the Bible says we'll have good success. Amen. We'll have good success. The Bible says that we'll be prosperous as well. Why? Because when we meditate on God's word, God's word will tell us how to manage finances. Is not so. God's word will tell us how to keep away from foolishness. Is not so. God's word will lead us. Uh, to advance our life in every aspect positively. Can I hear amen tonight? Yeah. Boy, there are so much or so many uh, instruction in God's word. We are learned from a past a Christian's mistake and we wouldn't want to make those mistakes. Amen? And then we learn from past Christian success like Joseph. He was honest and yet he being honest, God still prosper him. Today in the world, it seems like people think you have to be dishonest in order to climb up the ladder. But with God's children, it's not so. Amen? You be honest and God will make you climb up the ladder. Are you with me tonight? Then we'll turn to Psalms chapter 12, verse 6 and 7. So, we see in Joshua 1, 8, we must uh, meditate in the word of God day and night. Amen? Read a little of his word in the day, read a little in the night, meditate on his word. Think about his word, amen, our listening tonight. You know, we go to school to learn, it's not so. To develop ourselves, amen. To become wiser, it's not so. To learn how we can become better in life in every aspect, but... I wish every school in Guyana every day can write a verse on the chalkboard. I wish the government can pass a law or the president that in every school 
They need to write a scripture taken from the King James Bible before they start their education so that the student can memorize God's word. Amen? And that is what is going to make them prosperous and successful. Yet that is what is going to, to prevent them from going to the prison house. Are listening tonight, church? You see, the government want Bible in the, in the prison house, but they don't want them in some of the schools around the world. Someone said if they put a Bible in the school, they wouldn't have to put them in the prison because the prison cell might be empty. Amen? And uh, the Word of God is important to make us successful. How often do you teach it in your house to your children, to, to those that come in your home? You know, very often family visit me, but boy, it will be a good thing that every time family visit me, the first thing we can go to as we greet them, hey, we need to pray, thank God that you arrived safely here, we need to do a little Bible study, maybe a couple minutes and so on. That would be a wonderful thing, is not so? Amen? The, the Bible will, will be like giving them a, a glass of cold water. It can help them. Amen, church. Uh, Psalm 12, verse 6 and 7, the Bible says, The words of the Lord are what? Pure words. A silver tried in the furnace of earth purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. You see, there are many, many versions of Bible, but God is still going to preserve His Word. Can I hear Amen tonight? Amen. Let me read a last scripture here, then we'll we pray. Uh, Psalms 19 verse 7 to 11. Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. The Bible says, the law of the Lord is what? Perfect. You say, what that mean? It means that the word of God is perfect. The KJV Bible is perfect. Amen, church? So, the law of the Lord is perfect, comforting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The status of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant one, and in keeping of them there is great what? Reward. Reward. Boy, you don't have to follow. Let us stand tonight. We don't have to follow the ways of man, the ways of a denomination, the ways of other churches out there, and try to blend in with them. We need to follow God's word. The Bible says, Moreover, by them is thy servant one. You see, God's word will instruct us and help us we'll become prosperous in our Christian life in every aspect of our life because God's word is like a map to lead us into success I listen tonight I, be, I believe that you know the word of God is what really caused America to prosper today because it was founded on the Word of God. Amen, Amen church. Amen. I believe our country, if we can get a Word of God out there, the Word of God will change lives and so forth. Education is good that we have, you know, uh, the secular education and so forth, but boy, the um, the Word of God will help you. Amen? Let us, let us meditate like what Joshua said. Let us meditate the Word of God day and night. I want to give you that verse to memorize, Joshua 1 8. So this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate day and day and night, 
that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shall thou make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good what? Success. Amen. Good success. You want good success? You want to make your way prosperous? God said, meditate. 